a few nights ago I went to see Carmen in Edinburgh and I hadn't filmed an intro or outro and I woke up today and thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it in my bed, I might as well just chill out, no point in getting ready for five minutes, I'm very professional. So Cassandra and I went to the opera in Edinburgh and we got dressed up and just in case you've never been to an opera before, you don't have to get dressed up, you can wear whatever you want, but we just decided to be fancy and for Christmas... Cassandra had got me these antique opera glasses so I thought I would take them not thinking I was actually going to use them but when you go they've got subtitles at the top of the stage and for some reason I just thought I'd be able to read them but thankfully I had these because the first like 20 minutes of the opera I could only see so many of the words because my eyesight was totally failing me but I still kind of knew what was going on anyway so... I'm going to show you what we've done before we went in. I'm getting ready to go to the opera tonight and I've just dyed my hair. It's so dark and I can't get the dye off my skin. I've been scrubbing at it. I've got lines all over here. I should have known. Like, I literally, I should have dyed it days ago. And now I'm going to be walking about with these big marks all over me. First of all, Cassandra and I went to this Indian restaurant straight across the road from the playhouse called Shazan. Personally, I thought this place was quite expensive, but it is Edinburgh, and I'm used to only eating Indians and takeaways now, so I don't really know the average price of restaurants anymore. That being said, it was the best Indian that I've ever tried. Cassandra and I got two starters and half each one. This chicken pakora was the best chicken pakora ever. It was like £5 for the starter, but oh my god, it was so good. We also got this, which was chicken tikka, shish lamb, and then some sort of kind of spicy lamb sausage. Cassandra only really liked the chicken tikka, but I thought it was really good. I got lamb buna and rice because I'm predictable, and that's just how I like to live my life. Cassandra ordered a side of chips, and I ordered a side of garlic naan. As you can see, the drinks were bottles of coke and iron brew, so they're not exactly cheap. So in the end, dinner came to, I think it was either £34 or £37 a head. And to me, I think that's quite expensive for two people. But the food was amazing. I must admit, it was definitely the best Indian I've ever had. The lamb was cooked perfectly. And I had asked for a mild buna. And it was it was so good. I mean, if you don't think that £34 or £37 a head for two people is expensive and you like Indian food, I'd definitely recommend that you visit here. Oh my god, the chicken pakora is spectacular. In the restaurant, we actually remember to take pictures because for some reason, no matter what Cassandra and I do, we always forget to take pictures. But as always, I had to go and waste it. Literally, I can't even act posh for one day. <laughs> I say I was being posh, but I was wearing my holographic light-up sketchers with my holographic Kingdom Hearts bag in an evening dress, but that's just how I do it. Cassandra looked like a lovely, elegant lady, and I was literally just being me. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere, honestly. At the end of the opera, when they all come on to take a bow, they started singing the Ukrainian national anthem. Do you know what? It was actually quite emotional. I didn't take any other pictures while I was in there because I didn't really want to annoy people. Once we got home, we took some more pictures. Can you believe that I was actually raging at myself for not getting to go to a sunbed the day before we went to the opera? Looking at these pictures now, I'm so glad I didn't get to go because I look way too brown here. In case you've never seen Carmen before, I'm about to tell you what happens. So I'd never been to an actual opera before, but I used to watch them on the Hallmark Channel all the time. So obviously I was reading the words out and basically... Carmen is telling all these people that she's in love with him. One of the guys is already seeing somebody and he leaves or he leaves his family and everything and she's telling him that she's in love with him. And then the same with this other guy, so she's just like trying to get into everybody basically. And the music's amazing, right? The costumes were quite good as well. But in the end, right, basically these two guys are fighting over Carmen and She's went for telling one guy that she's in love with him to telling this other guy. And one of them ends up killing her, right? Now, any time that I've watched an opera, I've ended up crying. Because I knew what was actually happening, right, and I could read the words and everything, I knew what had been happening. 
And at the end of it, I was like, that's not sad. Like, what did she think was going to happen? Do you know what I mean? You can't just play with people's emotions like that. But to be fair, nobody was crying, so I think it, it was just meant to be dramatic. But it was good, right? But there was Carmen, who was the main person. But then the main guy, he had a girlfriend, and she had came out at the start, and she was singing. And when she first came out, I thought, she is amazing. Like, she was the best singer. She was the best singer out of the two of them. But they've maybe gave her this part because one of them's supposed to be like a shy little nice girl and Carmen's obviously up to whatever. But I really think that the, the girl who came out in the blue skirt, I, don't, I can't remember her name, but she was she was the better singer out of the two of them. Overall though, it was a good night. I hardly ever make vlogs anymore because I don't do anything other than sit on TikTok and watch the Johnny Depp trial, so... I don't have anything to update you on whatsoever. If I end up doing anything exciting, I will make a video. <laughs> I know that this wasn't that exciting, but I just thought I'd keep you updated. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And also, what do you think of my new hair colour? Randomly, I have missed a big massive section in here because it's a brand new colour I've used. So I'm going to be fixing that. And when I went to the opera that night, I had dye all over the back of my ear and everything. But I didn't even care. I had just been too lazy and I didn't even know if I was going to change the colour. I think it's a bit too dark. But let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if you do like this hair colour, I've got the review of it on this channel, the video just before this. Thanks for watching. Bye!